Welcome to the Hacktrish Training Course and Certification GCP and Workspace Rec Team Expert GRT. During this course and certification, we are going to be starting from the very basics of these two very widely used cloud platform, Google Cloud Platform and Google Workspace, which this basically means that in order to take this course, you don't need any previous experience with these platforms. At the end of the course and therefore the certification, you're going to be learning and knowing how to perform white box assessments inside GCP, black box and red team assessments in companies that are using GCP and Google Workspace, and even how to pivot between GCP and Workspace and how to bypass uh, several common defenses and detection mechanisms in these um, cloud platforms. So now let's take a deeper look about what to expect during this course and certification. As a student, you can expect more than 25 lessons. Each lesson is going to be having at least one video. And of course, you're going to be able to access the slides of each of the videos, which will help you understand better the concepts that are taught in each lesson. Moreover, during the lessons, we are going to be having several demos that help you understand all the concepts that we are going to be showing and explaining during all the videos and slides of each lesson. Students can also expect more than 50 high quality hands on laboratories in order to practice everything that is taught in each lesson. These laboratories are going to be living in each student own GCP project, which is not shared with any other students, preventing potential disruptions between students. Of course, these laboratories are created by the Hacktree training team based on their experience after com successfully completing tens or hundreds of different GCP red team assessments and white box assessments. So basically, these high quality laboratories are going to be helping you understand better and practicing everything that you are taught during the lessons. And of course, all these hands-on labs are going to be preparing you for the final exam in order to get certified. By buying the access to the course, you are going to be getting one exam attempt to get Hacktrix GRT certified. The exam is going to be a 12 hours red team exercise inside a GCP project with, of course, several flags and steps. Although the granted time to complete the exam is 12 hours, we are expecting that people that have successfully completed the hands-on laboratories uh, that has understood all of them will just need maybe from two or three hours till six hours in order to complete the exam. However, we don't want the time to be a real limitation, so we are granting 12 hours. The exam will be similar, but not exactly as the ones as the laboratories of the black box section. So during the course, you are going to be having a black box methodology section with at least a couple of laboratories where you are going to be able to practice all your skills learned during the course. And the exam is going to be similar to those laboratories. Of course, in the exam, we are only going to be um, exploiting or abusing services that we have commented during the course and we are not going to be adding any other um, techniques that we haven't commented during the certification because that could be unfair. Also, it is possible to send a pull request to Cloud Hacktrix with a new GCP technique in order to reduce one, the number of needed flags to pass it. So if during the exam you need to successfully find three flags in order to uh, complete the exam, if you send a pull request to Cloud Hacktrix with a novel GCP technique, you will only need two flags in order to get certified. Please notice that the pull request might be a novel GCP technique. This might be maybe a new uh, way to escalate privileges abusing a service that is already in GCP or, or that isn't yet in, in Cloud Hacktrick, sorry. Uh, this might be a new post-exploitation technique in some service, a new way to enumerate something or to get a foothold inside a GCP project by abusing certain configurations of a service. So if you send this novel technique as a pull request to Cloud Hacktrix, you can reduce in one the number of needle flags. Also, this will ensure your expertise in GCP. That's, that's the only reason why we'll reduce you one flag. And actually, in the AWS course that we have, all the people that have successfully sent a pull request with a novel AWS technique got one flag reduced for the final exam, of course, but they were so good in AWS that they managed to find all the three flags in order to pass the exam. So uh, you can take this PR as a motivation to find something new in GCP while you're improving your knowledge in this uh, specific cloud. Let's now take a deeper look on what to expect on each section of GRTE. 
of course the first section is going to be about the basics so the first lessons will cover basic gcp concepts and principles we'll be talking about the hierarchy of organizations folders projects the gcp principles so users group service accounts um, and we also talk about how to configure the cli g cloud that we will be using during the complete course in order to contact with the gcp api and also with the workspace api um, the goal of this uh, section is to learn all you need to understand how GCP works, uh, different ways to access GCP projects and get permissions, all the principles that are potentially involved in GCP and workspace that can get permissions, and of course, how to configure the command line interface in order for you to be able to well, contact the API and perform actions over GCP and potentially over workspace. As we have previously mentioned, you don't need any previous GCP experience to take this course because we have this specific section in order to show you all the basics and understand how GCP basically works. In the second section, we are going to be talking about how to exploit GCP services. So during the course, you will learn how more than 20 GCP services works, and also you will learn how to enumerate and abuse them to escalate privileges, to persist inside the project, or to perform other potential post-exploitation attacks. Please notice that this certification is meant to abuse potential misconfigurations inside GCP and workspace environments. We are not going to be attacking GCP as a cloud provider. We are not going to be attacking Google. We are just going to be uh, attacking learning how to abuse or attack potential misconfigurations. This is useful because whenever you get hired by, by a client to do a red team assessment or a hardening white box assessment, you're actually going to be focusing on attacking the potential misconfigurations, even the, if the misconfiguration is by default created by GCP. But just note that we are not sharing zero days, we are not attacking Google, we are just checking potential misconfigurations and how to abuse them. Also note that GCP contains tens of services and we are not going to be checking all the services that GCP provides. However, we are going to be focusing in the main ones. We are going to be uh, focusing in the services used by most of the companies. So just understanding the dangers of the services we are presenting in the course, you will understand around 80% of the GCP architecture of any company using GCP, just because most of the companies we are just going to be using the same GCP services, which is the ones we are going to be focusing during the course, of course. During the third section of the course, we are going to be focusing in methodologies. This is because by this time we already have commented the basics of um, GCP and workspace. We have configured the G Cloud CLI. We also have talked about more than 20 GCP services, how they work, how they could be potentially abused and misconfigured. And at this point, we are ready to start talking about methodologies. There are, four, um, there are four lessons during this section. These are going to be white box GCP pen testing, where, where you learn how to audit a GCP organization and projects only being granted read access. So this basically means that you will be having read access only over the GCP account or organization, and you will be finding all the potential misconfigurations and dangers and recommending the user how to uh, increase the security of their GCP environment. We will also learn how to perform black box GCP audits, which basically means how to perform a red team over a company that is using GCP, uh, with footholds we can try to use, how we can enumerate different attacks we could try to perform in order to get an entry point inside the GCP organization or project. So we have a lesson specifically for this. Then we are also going to be learning how to pivot between GCP and workspace. This is interesting because of course, both platforms are very closely related just because in workspace you can create users and groups that then might be granted access over GCP. So during these lessons, we are going to be talking about the extreme relationships between GCP and workspace and how with enough privilege you could be abusing one platform in order to pivot to the other one. Finally, we are have also a lesson about Workspace Black Box. Of course, Workspace is kind of a separated platform from GCP that have its own settings and its own possibilities. So we are going to be talking to, uh, about potential misconfigurations inside Workspace that could be abused from a red team perspective. And of course, how we can uh, mitigate these potential vulnerabilities. 
I think this is going to be the most fun section of the course, mainly because we learn how to do a white box and red teams in these two platforms. But of course, in order to get to this point, you need to have successfully passed the section one and section two, because it will be granting you all the knowledge that you need in order to understand all these uh, kind of complex methodologies. And finally, in the last section of the course, Defenses Bypasses, we are going to be starting learning basic GCP services for logging, alerting, and security in general. And then we are going to be seeing some techniques in order to bypass common detections mechanisms inside GCP. As a red team person, I find this section very, very interesting because, uh, of course, in order to not get detected in a cloud, knowing the vastly amount of logs they might be generating, you need to understand in potential behaviors they might be looking for in order to avoid them and still perform a successful uh, red team assessment over, in this case, the GCP cloud. So now let's talk about who should be attending this course. Of course, the course is public and anyone can get a voucher and do it. However, we have thought about three main type of people that might be most interested in doing the course. For example, penetration testers looking to learn more about cloud hacking. It is pretty obvious that cloud is getting more and more relevant inside the infrastructure of companies. A lot of companies are migrating all their infrastructure or part of it to the cloud. And a penetration tester that would like to be ahead of this curve should be taking this course in order to get from very basic knowledge of GCP and workspace till he is a red team expert in these platforms and therefore he will be prepared to prefer uh, to perform red team assessment and what box assessment over companies that are using GCP. Also sysadmins and DevOps engineers who want to learn about practical cloud security. And this is because in the internet you can find a lot of information about cloud security, but it's not, there is not that many, that much information about offensive security, real attacks in cloud scenarios. So sysadmins and devos that really wants to understand the vulnerabilities and misconfigurations that matter the most in GCP and workspace and how they can be uh, misconfigured and prevented should be taking this course and this way they are going to be able to improve a lot the security of their GCP and workspace environments. And of course, finally, any tech professional that would like to have more depth knowledge about the dangers of the clouds is very welcome to take this course, check a look at the videos, uh, perform the laboratories and try to get certified because of course you are going to be learning about uh, well, the dangers of GCP and workspace, but also at the end GCP and workspace is kind of similar to other uh, relevant cloud providers. So just with this information, it's just easier for you to understand better how other cloud provider works and how an attacker could be abusing potential misconfiguration in them also. Regarding the requirements for the course, there is not that many requirements. So you just need to have some basic networking knowledge just because of course in these uh, cloud providers, we are going to be using the network. We are going to be connecting different infrastructure in different networks or exposing it to the internet. So some basic networking knowledge is recommended. Uh, you need to be somehow familiar with the Linux CLI like PASS, ZSH, just because we are going to be using mainly the G Cloud uh, CLI uh, command in order to contact the GCP and Workspace API. So it is recommended that you are used or kind of used to these uh, black terminals. And then if you have some basic cybersecurity penetration testing knowledge, this will be great, but because it will help you understand better the vulnerabilities, just because you are used to think about vulnerabilities. If you don't have this cybersecurity penetration testing knowledge, it's, uh, it's not really a hardcore requirement. You can still do the course. Uh, maybe you will need to change a little bit your mindset during the course in order to understand why a vulnerability is a vulnerability. But actually, at the moment you start getting this kind of mindset, it's going to be very, very, very easy to you to understand why vulnerabilities, uh, the vulnerabilities explained in this course are vulnerabilities. And potentially you are going to be having a very, very fun time by looking at ways uh, from a from a perspective that you are not used to take a look, which is the, I guess, the pen tester mindset. So how you can buy access to this course and certification? Well, you just need to go to training.hacktrees.xyz slash courses slash GRT, register and buy a voucher for the course. Then whenever you are ready, you, are, you can redeem the, the voucher and start the course. 
please notice that when you buy a, a voucher you are just buying a code a code that needs to be redeemed and you will have one complete year since the moment you buy the voucher to redeem the code at whatever time suits you better so for example if you would like to use some kind of uh, current promotional code discount in order to get the course cheaper you can just buy it and then wait maybe three six seven months to start it just when the time is right for you also please notice that whenever you redeem the code and start the course the labs are going to be initiated and your lab time is going to be started at the moment we are offering 60 days of laboratories per per voucher this will be enough in order to complete the laboratories and the and the course however if for some reason you need a little bit more time you are always going to be able to buy extra time without needing to buy uh, another voucher of course you can just buy extra lab time of course, whenever you decide to start the course, please enjoy the way, enjoy learning GCP and Workspace because I think it's going to be a very fun ride with a lot of new concepts that you are going to be uh, liking a lot. And of course, if you are watching this video because you have already started the certification, please be very, very welcome. You have ahead of you a very fun way. You're going to be learning a lot, so please just enjoy it. Welcome.